Hi, I'm Lainey. And I'm Gabe. And, and this, this is, is our, our Meet, meet cute. cute. Falling in love is funny. It's weird, awkward, happy, or sad. It's a vibe. Where if you know, you know. Or do you? More than anything, it's personal and all around us. Inspired by true events and performed by real actors, Meet Cute presents When I Met You. They say that roommates should never, well... Be romantic? (laughs) I was going to say get it on, but romantic works. Hey, for the record, it wasn't like we'd been living together for a long time. Hold on there, cowboy. Let's start at the beginning. My colleague Noah said you were renting a room. And you showed up. And you were clearly awkward. Was I? Come on. I simply said, nice to meet you. And you just stood there, stunned. I asked to come inside, twice, I think, and you finally woke up and let me in. I know. (laughs) In my defense, though, Noah did not describe you very well. What do you say? Uh, he just said that you were his colleague. That's it? He uh-huh. failed to mention my winning charm and stunning good looks? Definitely. <laughs> so what made you take it? The room, if I was so awkward. You basically tricked me. I tricked you? What are you talking about? First, it was your plants. I thought you liked that I had a lot of plants. Oh, they were amazing. I loved them, even if I didn't admit it at the time. Then... You explained that you'd been alone for most of COVID, so they sort of became your friends. Yeah, I'm wishing I hadn't told you that. You were uh, so (laughs) friendly with your plants. Yes, maybe too friendly, perhaps. So much so that you named a cactus Todd. Yes, I did. And I didn't run away. What you didn't realize when you came to look at the apartment was that you were not just going to be renting a room. You were also going to be saving me from myself. Uh Uh-huh. And then there was the fact that you were renting me the larger room with better light, Two closets, all because... I'm a coder at Apple, and if I know the sun is rising and setting while I try to fix a bug, it depresses me. That was good information. Uh, But, hold on, you play the piano, and I play the guitar, and we were both looking for someone to jam with. Yeah, I think you called me perfect. And I plead the fifth. But I told my mom you were the nicest guy I'd met in a long time. Mm -hmm. And you also swore to her that you would never date a roommate. I plead the fifth. So what changed? I think it was when my sister visited us after two months, and she liked you and said our apartment felt like a home, and then, well, you kissed me. There is that. (laughs) Still not sorry. I've been wanting to kiss you for like two months. Yeah, but I knew the rule, though, and I didn't want to break it. We lived together. I think I knew that. I didn't believe it would be good. We couldn't escape one another if we had a fight. I didn't want to go anywhere. I never have. But you knew too much. We shared a bathroom. And I still had a crush on you. I was serious. I know. So was I. I guess I can thank my mother for my change of heart. What did she say again? You know. I know, but she's so funny. (laughs) That's one word for her. Uh Fess up, you just want to hear me do my impression of her. (sighs) Please, please do it. Fine. So we were on the phone, and I told her to no one's surprise, you and I had feelings for each other, and checked to see if I liked you a lot. Then what what did you say? Well, I told her that I liked you more than I'd ever liked anyone. I knew you by then. It wasn't a crush. We lived together. I I mean, we talked about the prunes in the fridge with German accents. Oh, yeah, the prunes. (laughs) And and you knew I loved ice cream sandwiches and that I needed excessive amounts of alone time. (laughs) I needed her to tell me what to do. That's what parents are good for. I'm so ready for you to do that impression. Though. Fine. Okay. So she said, what's the worst that could happen? You move out? That's good. But I didn't want to move again. And she said, gently, but that's what people do. They move. Even if it doesn't work out, it would still be one of the best situations you've lived in. And you gotta admit, that is pretty good advice. True. But I was still scared, you know, of ruining a good thing, of falling too hard, of putting all my eggs in one basket. Here comes my favorite part, though. I know. I know. So she asked me... Do it in her voice. What does your heart say? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then <laughs> she added her zinger... Your lease is month to month after all. (laughs) Actually, the one that I really do want to thank, though, is you. You came home one day with this jungle of plants. From the plant store Mm -hmm. on Polk, and you fixated on a ficus. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. No, say that last last part again. You mean fixated on a ficus? Oh, yeah. That's that's pretty cute, lady. Mm, I try. And then I told you I named her Jessica. I got her for Todd. And that that was a confusing moment. No, come on. I was scared to mess up the good thing we had going. I was nervous that if we dated, it it would all be 
too much, you know, that we risked not only losing each other, but losing a home, which has meant more to me than you know. This this next moment's awesome. It's not that awesome. Oh, it is. You said that even though you were scared, you'd still like to give this us a try if I still wanted to. I know, I know. And you said, Lainey, I don't know. I totally got you. You did. Then I said, teasing. I've never been happier. (laughs) So, after all we've been through, would you still say, I don't know, for normal people at least, that it is a bad idea to date a roommate? Well, you're not a normal person. You named your cactus Todd. Okay, fair enough. But what about for you? You are a normal person. (laughs) Have you met my mother? So, do we keep the rule? Maybe change it a little. Okay, how so? As the girlfriend, Mm -hmm. I'd say you've always got to court the best friend first. Hi, I'm Lainey. And I'm Gabe. And And this this is is our our meet meet cute. cute.